right, all y'all. Here we have starting on in something that's going to be a series on my channel. We are going to be doing the monthly shop my stash. Now, how I'm going to do this here is I'm going to pull things out. This is the first month, so I'm just going to pull things out, things that I want to try that I'm not using as much and stuff like that. And then as the next months go on and all that jazz, I'm going to be like going through and be like, okay, I've used this. I like it and all that jazz. And then like rotate them out of that because, you know, I've used them and I've made the deduction that I like it. And then as the months go on, we add more things we pull things out and then it really becomes more of a rotation this has been really highly requested because y'all know I'm working on making that content not based on buying shiz and I obviously um have enough to make content on so I'm just gonna go through and pick some things and make a whole little like monthly whatever and I'm gonna try my hardest to use just the products that I have pulled out. We'll see how that goes because sometimes I'm really bad at it. I'll be like, do I really want to use the palettes that I pulled out or am I going to go for that thing that I always use? No, we are not going to do that. We're going to use the stuff that we're pulling out. So just getting right on into it, I'm actually going to be pulling for these six blushes right here. These blushes here are all from Shop Miss A, so they were all a dollar. I'm planning on doing a video on the dollar blushes as well as the dollar highlighters that I got from Shop Miss A. As kind of a, you know, it's a dollar, is it, you know, too good to be true or is this something that's actually like, wow, it's a dollar and it's really good. So these ones are from Starry. I'm pretty sure they're like a Korean, a Japanese, or a Chinese brand. And we've got two more going on here. So we've got those right there. And then these ones here from Santi. I've actually swatched these a couple of times and they are so smooth. So I've got real good high expectations hopes for these ones. So we got that shade there. And then we got this like nice hot pink going on here. And then, or maybe this, this is a lighter pink. This this one's like, most of them are matte, but these ones are like a little bit slightly illuminating. And this might seem a little excessive on the blush front, but I've also got these ones from AOA. I have been swatching these ones. I just haven't used them. They're really teeny tiny, almost like single eyeshadow size going on here. But they're all these colors right here. And like I said, I know that it may seem like a little excessive, but I really do want to get my time using in these before I make a video and be like, yeah, they're great and amazing and I haven't actually tried all of them because one thing that's important to me when it comes to a formula is consistency through colors. Sometimes you can get a color that's really great and then you try another one and you're like, well, that sucked. So there's just all these. They have a huge plethora of colors to choose from, from neutral. They've got a lot of neutrals going on here and then a lot of pinks and mauvies. So with all that, I should be all kinds of good on the blush front, getting to use these, trying them out so hopefully I can continue on and then create that video talking about the blushes which I do also have these ones too I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about these I'm gonna try these ones first I think they're a little bit more promising because these are so they're like they're illuminating but y'all these are like straight up deep dark highlighters like they're not even it's not like a slight wash of color with the illumination it is straight up like metallic on your skin Again. So we are going to just kind of wait and see and try those, probably cycle those in after I have dealt with these ones. Then something else that I do tend to not get as much use out of are my liquid highlighters for the most part. And these ones here, these ones from Hard Candy, are actually one of my absolute favorites to mix in with my foundation. It doesn't like disrupt the formula or anything like that. Just gives it a little bit of like illumination. While also if you've got a matte foundation it makes it a little bit less intense less high coverage so I will be putting all three of these in here because I find that I when I have been reaching for a liquid illuminator I'm reaching for my collab one or my Becca ones and I really need to use these up because they are verging on the very oldness so <laughs> 2020 your girl want to use these up 
Okay, so we've made plenty of progress on the blush front. Let's get some highlighter going up on in here. Let's see here. We've got my Becca ones, which I use pretty... Uh, give me a minute. I use my Becca ones pretty regularly, but these are those like little mini light chaser ones that I honestly don't reach for, and I need to decide if I do really like these. So I'm going to pull out Pearl Flashes Gold going on right right there. Also gonna pull out Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. We've got some kind of traditional colors going on and then I believe this is Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell. And then honestly I just think just to try and use it and see how I feel about it this one is uh, Opal Flashes Jade which is kind of like a strange greeny beige neutral whateverness that just kind of sits there and I swatch it and it's all kinds of pretty pretty but I need to decide if it actually is all kinds of pretty pretty. So these four highlighters are going to go right here. I think I'm going to go a little bit ham, a little bit heavy because always the first time around I freak out and I'm like, am I going to have enough product? Am I going to have enough to cycle through, you know? And then as I do more and more, because I have tried to do this in the past and I did a couple, but kind of like the more months that I did it, the more accustomed I got to what I was actually using and how much I realistically used in a month excuse me burp squad i mean in all honesty we're probably good on the highlighter front i obviously use my ofra i use my collab i use my lunar beauty i use my milk i use my i don't reach for the hourglass ones okay give me a sec here um i reach for the jeffree star ones i reach for these ones i reach for those i reach for these these ones I love these ones. Any of y'all who've been on my channel for like a hot minute will know my love for these ones. And they're reaching the kind of the end, I think, which makes me sad, but I do reach for them. Okay, I think I'm going to pull out a couple shades of these. I did not haul these, so y'all haven't seen them. This is a brand that sold at Target. Your girl is fairly pasty pasty right now, so we'll get this mega lightning one out. They are a baked formula, kind of like like the J Cat and the Makeup Revolution. And then I'm gonna pull out the Mega Honey, the Mega Metal one here, I think is gonna be a shade that's just gonna suit me better in the summertime. So these two, we will pull out and kind of see how I feel formula wise. But I reach for the Kylie, I reach for these. A subscriber was kind enough to send me the Cody Airspun ones. If you don't, they, they are not cruelty free. So if you don't care about that, these are actually really, really nice. Oh, and then I'm also going to pull out these AOA ones. I, I put them up in here because I'm pretty sure I tried a couple of them and they're really nice, but I want to pull them out because same with that blush video, I am going to be doing one about dollar highlighters. So I think, I, th I love how I say I think. I've pulled out 12,000 highlighters, but I don't know if I'm, I'm okay. Y'all know I like having a lot of variety. So we've got plenty of highlighter to do us there. And then and this is where it starts to get a little bit dicey. I'm like, if I've got that many highlighters, do I really need to pull out any highlighter palettes? Y'all know I have a lot. I reach for, I actually just used this one from Lunar Beauty. Absolutely love that. I reach for the Lime Crime ones fairly regularly. Not so much on that. I definitely don't reach for anything contour. So I think I'm going to pull the Kat Von D shade and light out and at least attempt to shape my face. We'll obviously see how that goes. <sighs> then, oh my goodness, this is just the first time around. So don't freak out. You've got so many things. And then I think just for giggles and for the fact that I have literally thought about decluttering this, this one almost got decluttered this last time around, but I swatched it and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Because it is. And this shiz swatched like an absolute dream. So we're going to Get some use out of it and see if I can, you know, if I F with that formula, as it were. Okay, obviously we need to do eyeshadow. Here is the beloved, well, not so much beloved anymore, the drawer of Kat Von D. Oh, my stars. Okay, 
All right, I know for a fact I need to get more use out of the original shade and light. I need to decide because obviously most of y'all would have known that her quad, her contour quads, I tried them and I'm like, they were a horrible, powdery, nasty mess. Same with the Lolita palette. So I need to go back and kind of rethink the formula if it's something that I actually like. So we're going to pull out this one. And then I'm going to pull out the Saint and Sinner because in all honesty, this is a palette. Oh no. I just just totally, yeah, ow, sad. That makes me sad. But this is honestly a palette by her and just a palette on its own that I do not use enough. Some of these shades are absolutely stunning. This one here, both of those up there. I mean, I just need to reach for this shiz more because I just do. I need to get more creative. I need to create awesomeness upon my eyelids. I think that'll do it for Kat Von D this time around. Then over here, let's see here. I reach for this one a fair amount. It's actually pulled out for me to use it in a video. Oh my goodness, we've got the Tarte ones, which I honestly don't reach for enough. I've got these Makeup Revolution ones. Okay, let me think about that. Let me go into the other drawers and actually see what we've got okay i reach for the melt cosmetics 27 and the gemini a fair amount i honestly <laughs> yeah here's the real tea real shade i got all these naked palettes and i don't really reach for them nearly as much as i used to i mean the smoke one is really nice but i feel like if i'm using the kat von d shade and light this one is just kind of gonna sit there oh my goodness then we've got the naked chair going on right here okay that's a color story all right that's all nice and pretty and rosy we'll get some more use out of this i'll pull this into the rotation hopefully using this will keep me from pulling for my modern renaissance and soft glam and all that because you know that's what i pull for nine times out of ten okay so we've got that going on there then that's face palettes what's over here a bunch of stuff that i probably need to reach for more uh lunar beauty strawberry dream i reach for moon spell a fair amount i actually reach for the medusa one i know i do not reach for my juvia's place nearly as much as i should i mean like i've got so many different ones i really hopped real hard on that juvia's place train but i mean look at that green shimmer in the middle and that aqua like mm. and then this one here is all kinds of beautiful mm, so pretty and then obviously this one which is so stunning but i feel like i don't breach for these mostly because the matte to shimmer ratio i mean maybe i'm i'm not creative enough when it comes to doing makeup and i don't i don't know i do not understand the intricacy of using these palettes but i'd never reach for them to do a whole look with just them like i always have to like reach for something else but between these three i think i can actually probably come up with something snazzy i mean if nothing else that green matte there is Oh, green perfection. I really like that color there. I mean, the shimmers are absolutely stunning. So I will pull these three here because they're really good. I like the formula. I just, for some reason, they just sit here looking all kinds of pretty, but I don't use them. Then this drawer probably gets the most love out of my collection. This is where I've got my Jeffree Star. I've got my ColourPop. I've got the little Huda Beauty, whatever is going on here. These Huda Beauty. This is a pretty circulated drawer so i think we're just gonna leave that as it is <sighs> then too faced and melt i reach for that i reach for that i don't reach for that um i reach for that i reach for that i think we'll just leave this one as it is for right now and then here all right got my viseart got my lorette got jeffree star got norvina i think we're okay for right now i'm obviously gonna pull some of this stuff in my next rotation then all of the anastasia natasha denona those get used i do 
need to pull out this palette because I've got a couple videos I want to do on this thing so I've got to use it get to know it and all that jazz this is the Revolution and Alexis Stone palette it's just all kinds of bright and beautiful colors and gradation kind of like the Viseart one and I did want to try to do like a Viseart versus this and kind of see you know if you can get by getting this palette rather than spending the expensive amount of money for the Viseart. So I think we're pretty good for palettes. I know I always tend to go overboard when it comes to this. I just, I just, like, I need, it's like when I pack to go somewhere and I'm all like, well, what if I need, you know, one of these things and, and I don't have it, oh boy. So we've got the highlighters, we've got palettes, we've got uh, eyeshadow, all that jazz, blush. I apologize for my absolute mess over here right now. Um. I'm pretty good at rotating, um, like, foundations, especially depending on, um, season, my, my face color at the time. I promise, I don't have a problem. I can stop anytime. These are just choices. But I definitely want to pull this out. I want to use this up. I'm currently working on using up this one, right? It's over here so it doesn't get mixed up with the ones over there. But I do want to be trying to use this up as well because y'all know your girl do not need any more kinds of face sprays. I just don't. Uh, like I said, I'm really good with cycling through my liquid lipsticks. You know, it just depends on my look. You know, there isn't, there really isn't any one brand that I just keep using. It depends on what kind of color I want and what I have going on for my look that day. Although I do love my Lunar Beauty ones. Those are my current favorites right now. Then, same with lip gloss. It's kind of like this, you know, will I use it according to, you know, what kind of look I'm coordinating with. And I did recently declutter my lipsticks going on here. I used to have a lot more Kat Von D, so I'm going to be trying my hardest to use these, but I think we're pretty good right now. Wait, I lied. Okay, I've been using the same set and powder for like, I don't know how long. I've been switching between the Too Faced one, the Milk one, um, the Fenty one, and the Laura Mercier one, which is the one that I am currently using. But I want to get some use out of these compacts here because they're just, they're just sitting here. And I'm like, what is the friggity fracking point in me having you sitting here and not using you? So I want to figure out if I actually like these or if I'm just holding on them for, you know, just willy nilliness. So I'm gonna get the two Urban Decay ones. That's just the regular pressed powder, and this is the illuminating one. And I have the, I, I need, I need to pull this out. This is the Japanesque uh, Velvet Touch Focus. Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. This was um, a must for me when I'm doing my vampire looks, when I'm going super pasty pasty. Cause y'all, this shiz is white. I mean, you can set whatever you want and it ain't going to change like you could do you your foundation in white and using this would not change the whiteness and I just want to I do love it it's a beautiful formula so I'm going to pull that one out too and then I want to pull out this one too um I finally caved and I bought this it says translucent but the first time I used this I thought it kind of gave me a peachy cast which is not something that I'm going for it might be different when when I'm darker in the summertime, but I'm just going to pull this and see what, you know, what's going on with it and if it does actually give me a cast or if it was just whatever I was doing that day. Okay, so I have all of that going on there. I honestly think I probably have. I mean, I'm <laughs> just like, it's only for a month and I'm sitting over here like, I think I'm okay. I think I have enough. This might not be enough. It's going to be enough. It's going to be fine. But I've got the eyeshadow palettes going on over here, the shade and light, and the, yeah, I've, I've got plenty of eyeshadow palettes. So I got the eyeshadow palettes right here. I got the highlighter palette, the contour palette. I've got the face powders right here, highlighter, blush, highlighter, I think we are honestly good to go. 
I understand that this is just the first round of this going around here. Obviously, I'll be a little bit more organized the next time I do this. I am going to be trying my hardest to do this every month. This is going to be, uh, we're starting in March. So hopefully I can keep up with this and make it consistent like my monthly hits and misses. And this will also be a way for me to go through and have product in my monthly hits and misses that isn't new. Just continuing to kind of rehash my stash as it were. So this is what we've got to work with this month. Um, I will obviously see you in another incarnation of this next month, but I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you are as excited as I am for going through this shop my stash and just finding new loves, deciding whether I actually like things. You know, I feel like this is going to be good for me as well as creating no purchase content. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and as always, keep it real. Mwah!